to today's video. I'm Vivian. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a try on haul. I just got some new pieces for fall and I wanted to show you guys. Most of it is from Abercrombie as well as Princess Polly and J. Crew. A ton of staple coats that I have been rotating and just like sweaters, soft things, and skirts and just different staple pieces that I think are perfect for fall transitioning into winter as well as always links will be below for you to check out if you like any of these pieces but let's go ahead and just get right into the video all right we're gonna go straight into coats I love these coats so much this one specifically has been really really popular on my um, link page and I actually got this about a year ago um, but it was always sold out and I thought they discontinued it but it's back in stock for now and it's just one of those coats that is just so timeless I think this pattern specifically is really really unique and a lot of you guys agree too so I had to include it in this haul because it is available finally I particularly love belted coats I think that they are so sophisticated Kind of reminds me of like a trench coat but something a little bit thicker and this honestly kind of makes an outfit i could wear leggings and a t-shirt underneath and it'll still look really good i'm going to quickly mention this coat because it's just my favorite and i did feature it in a recent video but i'm going to feature it again in case you didn't see it because i get a lot of questions on where i get this and it's actually abercrombie and fitch it's a beautiful chocolate brown blazer and I think it's really hard to find other pieces in this color that, that fit well that are like good quality and somewhat affordable so I wanted to include it again this is an extra extra small and it also comes in black this is the same style as the first coat but in a different color I also get a lot of questions and especially around winter time I absolutely love this coat I think it's so perfect for dinner or just like when you think of Christmas light shows or um, candlelit dinners or just ski trips I think of like a beautiful cream ensemble it's just a great piece for winter especially so I wanted to include it a little fuzzy and then these are two kind of similar styles that are more recent new arrivals to Abercrombie and Fitch so I got it in actually three colors but the last color hasn't come yet and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about these so, ooh, I am obsessed with this color. I, and this color specifically, I think, kind of gives off that, like, English countryside or old money. I don't know. But I absolutely love it. I like the little details of the buttons on the cuffs and along the middle. And it's also belted. And there's pockets. And it's really, really warm. And I got it also in black. I didn't really think this through. I also got it in this cream color, so I think I'll be keeping that cream color in this camel and then returning this black. I have nothing against this coat. I just think I have a similar style to it. Um, too similar, but also just a great coat as well. So I recently did a little J. Crew haul in my recent vlog, but I wanted to include this in this try on haul just because this is a more dedicated video for fashion so if you didn't get the chance to watch that vlog you still will get the details on these pieces because I love them and these are the two coats that I've been featuring a lot in my TikToks and Reels they just go with so many different things I once again love this color so much I think it's just a beautiful camel color and it kind of has a texture to it that makes it look even more just like luxurious so this is a great piece. It's not as heavy weight as the other coat. Like this is heavy. This is a couple pounds. This is not as heavy. It's slightly thinner, but still warm. So that's something to kind of think about. And it is Italian boiled wool. Um, so it is a little bit pricier than Abercrombie and Fitch, but I definitely think that you can tell like between the two. So depending on where you are in your budget, these are really similar styles and highly recommend both. And this was the coat that I decided to keep between the other black one and this one. They're basically the same thing. Um, this is also just slightly thinner, but I just like this because it's not as heavy. Since I do have quite a few of the heavier coats, I want something a little bit lighter weight, but still warm. So this is a beautiful coat by J. Crew. 
and I think the black just goes with everything. I've been particularly loving the look of matching black with different shades of gray. I think it's a great transition into winter slash like winter look since the lighter colors and browns and, and creams and stuff are great but having that black gray balance too depending on kind of mood I'm in, I like that too. Okay, so I have two more these are jackets and I've been seeing this style everywhere and I saw that Abercrombie and Fitch had these and I was like, I don't I don't know if I'll love them, but let's give it a shot. And I am gonna give you like a really honest review of these. So I think they look really cute, but I don't think I'll be keeping both. Reason being is this is the same style, but for some reason the fit is different. There's actually a reason. This is really, really stiff. Um, I think that because of the leather and the combination of this fur lining, it's just very boxy. Like there's no give and the crop makes it um, even more so. This is more of a soft suede and the fleece inside, so like it's just a lot more like malleable. So it doesn't feel as restricting even though it is cropped. So I really like that a lot. Um, I love the look of this leather and fur lining, but it's just not as comfortable. It's super like, you can't even really bend it, but it is because of the materials. I think it's cute on, but I don't think I'll be keeping this for that reason. I wanna find this style, but longer and bigger, um, just cause I do like the fur with the leather a lot. It's just not like my favorite way of doing it. Like I wish it was oversized. So keep an eye out for a future vlog or haul. I'll probably be getting that and sharing my honest opinion because these are kind of expensive. So I don't really want to settle for one if I really think I'll be wearing it a lot if it's just the right fit, you know? But I did really, really like this and I styled this with some leggings and Uggs and I think it's such a cute outfit. So I'm excited to think of more ways to style it as well. I need a haircut so bad. Don't mind my hair, guys. The trim is way overdue. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next category and it is sweaters. It is officially sweater weather and I am here for it. I think that there are certain colors that are just great to have in rotation when you're styling outfits for the fall and winter. So here are some of my favorites that I recently got and I'm really, really happy with. These are four sweaters from Abercrombie and Fitch. So this is a beautiful gray color. Like I mentioned before, I love the combination of a black and gray outfit. And this is a great shade of gray um but i love the collar on this i think it adds an element of like it's not a bulky turtleneck but it still has a little bit of fabric there it gives off that tailored look with the little details like that as well as the ribbing on the hems of the sleeves and the bottom it is not like super oversized but it is not cropped so it's perfect for jeans for leggings there's a little slit here so it's not boxy. I think it's just really, really chic and cute. And I would definitely get this in multiple colors. And this is the same style of sweater, just in a different color. This is a beautiful taupe color. So I would definitely imagine wearing this with like cream pants or a black skirt with some black boots or even like jeans would be really cute with this too. And then this here is actually a wool blend. It's not cashmere. I love this fit and something about sleeves like this. Um, I don't want to say it's like retro, but it's giving me a little bit of that vibe for some reason. And I really like it. And this color also is gorgeous. Okay, so this sweater, I think I'll be putting in to more of my winter style. I imagine just being on the way to a ski lodge with some fuzzy socks and Ugg boots and two pairs of leggings on and just going on like some cabin getaway. Like this is what you think of, right? Like that pattern. I think it's so cute and it's so, so soft. And this is like an actual turtleneck, not just like the little one. So it's perfect for winter time. So I have three more sweaters. So we were kind of going through the grays into the topes and the beige. Now we're gonna finish off with some beige cream light knits. So this one here is from J. Crew. 
it is so soft i really love this color it's kind of like a golden cream like i think of a perfectly toasted marshmallow that's what this color is also it's so soft this is the roll neck sweater from j crew so it has that nice little collar or like neckline and also the same thing on the sleeves here is another sweater I also mentioned before but wanted to briefly mention again because it is such a staple. This is from Aerie and this is their Unreal sweater. It is very oversized which I think is so perfect for this time of year. I wore this with leggings and Ugg boots and call it good. Also you can wear it with jeans and like Converse. So it's just one of those sweaters and it's very very comfortable. And then this sweater is from Princess Polly. It is a slightly off the shoulder. I think it's called the cold shoulder sweater because it actually goes um, off lower to one side and then the other side is more of like a normal sweater and I think that it's super cute with some jeans or a skirt and for Princess Polly it's actually a pretty thick sweater material sometimes I have a problem with their stuff being a little bit thinner than my liking but this is actually really good quality surprisingly I love my basic sweaters, but I also love pieces like this that have the little details that really make an outfit distinguishly different from like other basic outfits. And this color, like I said, just goes with everything. All right. Um, oh yeah, I didn't mention this. So this is a sweater blazer, a long sweater blazer from <laughs> from J. Crew, and absolutely love this color. And I wore it with this dress in an outfit that you guys loved so i wanted to include this in this haul it's nice and like formal looking but it's so comfortable because usually a blazer is kind of stiff and for me particularly sometimes the broadness of the shoulders can be off and it might just be a little bit boxier but having it be a sweater you get that somewhat of a form without the actual like stiffness so i think that's such a good idea and i really liked how they executed it here and there's pockets which we love all right lastly i am going to show you guys some bottoms so these two skirts are some of my favorites right now i know i say this but i really do mean it the things that i say are my favorite i have styled in multiple ways and i like these are my go-to's currently that i have just constantly being washed and being worn and being taken pictures in and sharing because they're that they're just good so I got these two skirts from Abercrombie & Fitch. I also have this skirt in a cream color, which I wore in my last haul, and that was sold out. And these are very similar styles, and I imagine they're gonna sell out of these pretty soon. And the other one, they actually stopped selling it. So I don't know if they would bring these back once they sell out, which makes me almost wanna buy like another in case I, for some reason, lose these, or I don't know, because I just love them so much. They're actually skirts, so they look like skirts, but they both have built-in shorts underneath, which for me is like a must at this point. And they're just, they're just the perfect length. And I particularly love these colors. I think that they look so beautiful with other shades of gray or with black or with white. And I didn't realize how much of this color I don't have in bottoms, but when I do, they look so good. I have another pair of pants that I absolutely love in this color. I didn't have any skirts in this color. And I think that these two are just so great for having just to be able to pair with so much. Yes, my point being is I absolutely love these skirts. So I'm really, really happy with these purchases for sure. Lastly, I have this skirt, which I got a similar style from Abercrombie & Fitch um in my last haul video or was it the haul before and a lot of you guys said like it didn't fit right i should return it and i totally agreed but i still wanted a skirt like this and i just had to find one that fit me right and i think this one is it so this one's from princess polly and this is the size it's a us zero and it's in um this really wearable medium wash which i really like and it has that slit in the middle, which I think would look really good with some boots kind of peeping through. All right, and also this dress here is from Abercrombie & Fitch, and then my jewelry is from my store, Moroccan Moon. This is the Lucky Necklace, which is double-sided. So it's like two necklaces in one, and then this is the Selena earrings, which are a beautiful braided gold and are waterproof. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to check out all the links below for everything that I mentioned. And if you are wanting some inspiration, I've been posting a ton of outfit inspo on TikTok and on Instagram. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in next week's video. Love you. Bye.